everybody. We are working on some Chinese paper lanterns and we are doing these because of the Chinese New Year. I had a video for you guys to watch that talked about the Chinese New Year. And so now we are putting together some of these really cool dragon paper lanterns that are going to go with the New Year, especially for that last day of the Chinese New Year, which is the Lantern Festival. And we are putting our dragon on our lanterns because dragons are a symbol of good luck and good fortune, even though this year is the year of the ox. So I'm going to go ahead and scooch this one off to the side and show you how to put these together. So we have the worksheet that I gave my in-person learners. It was also posted on my Schoology page that you could download and print at home. If you couldn't print one at home, no worries. You can always just use a blank sheet of paper. You can even use just a blank sheet of colored paper. I'm going to show you how to put together this one though, just in case you did print it. And it was a print on the front and the back. The front had the guidelines for drawing the or coloring in the dragon and the back has the guidelines for cutting. So here is my example of one that I have already done all of the coloring and I am ready to cut. So once you've gotten to this point with your page or if you've chose to do your own drawing on a separate sheet of paper or you're just using a solid regular sheet of paper, you're going to want to fold in half hot dog style. And I'm going to fold mine in half so I can see my grid lines on the back. So all I'm going to do is take my paper, inch it up so the tops match up, and then I'm going to crease it down the middle. You'll see that dotted line, that dashed line that's going to let you know that is where the crease should be. The next point or part is super important because it's all about cutting. You do not want to cut from this side. This is the open side. If you cut over here, you are going to mess up the lantern. You want to cut from the folded edge all the way up to the dotted line. And we're going to do this on all of the different stripes across the page. So I'm just going to take my scissors, cut up to the dotted line, and stop. If I go past it, I'm going to cut the whole strip off. And I don't want to do that. I want to go up to the dotted line and stop. And if it goes a little bit past the dotted line, it's okay. You just don't want to go all the way to the edge of the paper. So I'm going to cut, cut, cut all the way up, all of the stripes. Now I can open it up and I can see all the different pieces for my lantern. But we have a little bit of a problem right now. If I go to create my lantern like this, you're gonna see that my lantern is curving in. It looks like an hourglass and we need our lantern to curve out. So the way that we can fix this, it's pretty simple. You can take it piece by piece or you can do it as a whole sheet of paper. If you can do it as a whole sheet of paper, we're just going to take it and bend it back so the dragon shows. This takes just a little bit of some wiggling around because the pieces are kind of loose. That's why I think it's easier to go stripe by stripe. So I'm going to take the first piece and you can see that it's bending back right now. To see how it's going back? We need it to go up and forward. So I'm going to hold it where that little creases, I'm going to pinch it. So now it is bending up. So it's going different directions than the other ones. So I'm gonna go each piece one at a time, crease so it points up. This way, when we go to create our lantern, our lantern will not look like an hourglass. It will actually curve out. So going all the way across the page, pinching each piece. All right, so now we've done that. So just a test run to show you when I go to turn it around, make my lantern. Now all the pieces are out. It kind of looks like a jellyfish from the top. So to get it to stick together, we need a glue stick. I'm going to use my glue stick to only put glue on this side of the paper. So I'm going to do this right here, all the way up this one strip, just on this one piece. And I just did a couple strips of glue so I can make sure it's good and sticky. I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to wrap it to make that cylinder shape. So I'm going to wrap it around, line up those pieces, and I wanna use my fingers to kind of guide it together. So I'm gonna run all the way up and I'm going to check my bend. If you see it's kind of bending funny, you just might need to bend it back one more time. Check to make sure all the pieces are bent correctly. And now I have the body for my paper lantern. The only thing it's missing is a handle. So what I have done is I have just cut a strip of paper off my red and I'm going to attach that onto the top of my lantern. Make sure your dragon is not facing upside down. Make sure it's facing up. I'm going to use my glue stick, take a little bit of glue on this end as well as this end. Make sure you put your glue stick away when you're done with it. And we are going to stick this on the inside. So I'm going to put it inside on the top part here 
as well as over here. Hold it for 10 seconds to make sure it sticks. I see a lot of students would want to just let go right after they stuck it on there and then they would notice the handle would fall off. So make sure you hold it for a few seconds to make sure it really sticks. Give it some pressure. And then you have your completed paper lantern. If you want to add on some more details, like on this lantern, I added a few little pieces coming off the bottom. You can. You can make it as cool as you want. You can add long strips. You can even do maybe string with beads. You could add some glitter or decorations to the handle. Anything that you think would make your lantern look cool, you go for it. And it's that simple. So if you have my paper that you can download, go ahead, work on that one. If you don't, like I said, feel free to just use a regular sheet of paper. And I'm just going to speed through showing you guys with this regular sheet of paper with no guidelines on it, how you can make that work since you don't have these guidelines. All you do is the same process. You would take the paper, fold it in half hot dog style, crease it, Take your scissors, you're going to cut, but again, you don't wanna go all the way up. So if you wanna draw yourself a guideline all the way across this page so you know where to stop, you can, or you can just kinda of eyeball it. So I'm going to cut some strips, stopping at about the same point on each strip so I don't go all the way up to the top. And now, since you don't have a design you're having to worry about making sure that it's facing the right way, you actually don't have to worry about doing the backwards bend because our lantern is already in the correct position. So, same thing. Take our glue stick, run that glue along the last strip. You wanna take your paper, I kinda of flip it over just so I have my hands in a comfortable position. Flip it so it goes on top, match those up. Use your fingers to run up and down that strip to make sure it sticks, fix your bend, and you have your paper lantern. So if you do not have my paper, feel free to just do it with a regular sheet of computer paper or printer paper, a blank white sheet of paper, or use a colored piece if you have it. You can even color on the sheet before you do it. That would be really cool to come up with your own design. So I hope you guys enjoy making your Chinese New Year paper lanterns, um, and I will see you guys next time.